Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. If you wanna check out more hood tours, feel free to browse my page. I have over 300 plus tours covering all different neighborhoods in Philadelphia, PA. All right, y'all, right now we are in the Northwest section of Philadelphia. We are currently on Abbotsford Ave. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn on Wishahickon Ave. We're gonna be covering the Germantown neighborhood, which is bounded by Germantown Avenue to the north, Wishahickon Ave to the south, Johnson Street to the west, and Berkeley Street to the east. We only got about an hour on the clock, so we're gonna cover as much as we can within the hour. I got a lot of traffic right here. It's about a 70 degree day, guys. Yeah, we hit our first 70 degree day today. They said that tomorrow's supposed to be like 71, so we're reaching record-breaking highs for this time of year. We're on Abbotsford and Wissahickon. On my left hand side, you have the entrance for Route 1. We're passing Clapier Street. I'm gonna take it down one more block. We'll probably make a right at this gas station coming up on my right hand side. There's a Dunkin' Donuts and a gas station. We're passing Wissahickon Plaza Apartments. We got fresh meats and produce, two in one cafe, Wissahickon cleaners. We got the Dunkin' Donuts right here. I'm gonna turn right on the 500 block of Mannheim Street. We got the Willows at Wissahickon on my left-hand side. I'm gonna turn right on Copley Road so we can just start to zigzag through the neighborhood. As always, I don't have a set point of destination. I'm just zigzagging, exploring, planting the seed in your minds. If you have any knowledge, any information, thoughts, stories, memories that you wanna share in the comment section, you for all the viewers should know, feel free to comment below. That's why I leave the comment section open. All right, guys, we're in a residential neighborhood. We have some beautiful stone homes right here. The one on my right has stone and stucco up top. The one after that has stone and smoother stucco up top. The first one was really bumpy stucco. We have a few on my left that are all complete stone, and then we have some that follow the same pattern, stone and then some stucco up top. We have a dog on my right-hand side, dog walker. We have a nice block right here. These homes have lawns, porches. The lawns are raised, so you have to go up several steps, literally seven steps to get up to your walkway, to your front home. It looks like they have back driveways and potentially back garages. We're on Clapier Street. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Clapier. We'll probably just zigzag through this block right here, going straight up. Um, Keep on going straight up until we get to Germantown and then we'll just go off one and we'll try to cover as much as we can, guys. Passing the Cricket Commons Luxury Suites, two bedroom apartments on my right hand side. We have some nice homes on my left hand side. They're pretty big, really large, many, many windows. We got N1 Way above. So we're gonna make this left hand turn on the 5,000 block of North Schuller Street. We're on Schuller. I have some huge trees on this block on my left side, some baby trees on my right side. These homes have large porches. The porches wrap around the front of the home. This is a hill. This block is at an angle. So if you're on like a bicycle, or you're on a skateboard or something, if you're going behind us, you would definitely catch some speed. If you're walking up this hill, you might find yourself tired. Garages on my left, garages on my right. In front of us, uh, we have some apartments. Mannheim Street Apartments. It's the Cricket Court Commons. I hear you. I then started the tour and within four minutes of the tour, I had three horns beeped at me. I got traffic behind me guys, so please bear with me. I'm only traveling 20 miles an hour. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Erringer Place. We got the H and the XH bus stop next to me. All right, this block right here seems to be a two-way block. 
um, the homes are pushed back from the street side. They have probably 20 foot, maybe 30 foot lawns on the left side. They're brick. And then the top is covered by shingles. On the right, they follow the same facade the last few blocks had on these first two sets of homes. They're in pairs with a side walkway to the house. The street is in red, red brick, as you can see. And then these houses right here on my right hand side, first floors are closed porches. Some of them have brick, some of them have stucco, some of them have a mixture of brick and stucco. The second floor has vinyl siding, some woodwork, depends. I see a second floor that they sealed the windows and the first floor porch right here, they sealed the windows. Oh, we got a little squirrel. What's up, squirrel? I just had to tell him to subscribe and squirrel talk. Yo, he had a nut in his mouth. How cliche, right? All right, on my left-hand side, these were the Congress Hall apartments. So I'm gonna make this left-hand turn. I'm gonna make a complete stop here. This is a town watch block. That's what the sign says. It says, join the resistance. Yo, that sounds exclusive. <laughs> sounds like you like, like you about to join a superhero team. All right, I'm gonna make this left-hand turn. I got a Range Rover on my tail immediately. Like I'm Sonic and he's Tails. They're about to try to pass me. Sheesh, I just got here. Give me a break. I'm doing 19 miles an hour. I'm not gonna be able to make this left on McKean. I'm gonna probably go around. It's a one way. So let's make this left coming up on Morris Street. We got two gentlemen right here working on their vehicles. Yeah, it's that type of weather today. It's beautiful weather. Yeah, I think the buddy right there was telling <laughs> the old head. They said he just got that that Corvette, that Corvette that was in front of us, and the dude said he don't know how to drive that ish. <laughs> a young fellow in a vet, in a, in a what's that like an early 2000s vet for all my vet enthusiasts. All right, the architecture on my right hand side is awesome. A lot of woodwork. The ones on my left looked quite common. We have homes that look like that down north. I'm gonna make this left right here on. Mannheim, 400 block of Mannheim. We're on Morris and Mannheim. I just want to go up M McKean so y'all can see McKean at least. And then we'll continue heading up to Germantown Avenue. Speed limit is 25 miles an hour. I think people want it to be 55 miles an hour. We just made this left on McKean Avenue. We're on the 5,000 block of McKean Avenue. It's a one way street. The other ones were two way. There's a house for sale on my right hand side. 5068 is for sale. 5068 McKean Avenue. The house is on my right. I've seen ho homes that look like that before. Yeah, they look pretty well kept. The one on my left is huge. This one is, this is an enormous home right here. Is that an apartment or is that a home? That is the question. Let me pull up a little bit to see if I see multiple ringers. No, that looks like a home, y'all. That thing is monstrous for this neighborhood. On the right, we got the Hampshire house apartments. So on my left, here's another home and it's boarded up. Look at that, it's boarded up. That's a nice property to potentially look into if it isn't already owned and or being rehabilitated. It looks like it might be owned because they put a brace on the awning. They put some new um, woodwork on the awning. These homes on my right and on my left, they're completely stoned. They're awesome. They remind me of like some type of Nickelodeon special. Like one of those kids specials where they pull the opening shots like a crane shot on like a suburban block. Looks like similar to this. Yeah. And I'm gonna make this left hand turn. Yep, she's out. She wasn't planning on stopping. She just, she just waved at me as if I was giving her the okay to go. No, ma'am, I was waiting for you to make a complete stop. But apparently people don't make complete stops in Philadelphia. All right, so. We're gonna make this left on Morris. All right, we're back on Morris. The 4900 block of Morris. I can make a right here or I can go straight. Um, this is Seymour Street. I think I'm, I'll make a right here. I'll make a right just to show y'all what Seymour look like. 
that peach house or pink house on my left was pretty cool pretty huge <laughs> these houses on my left and on my right they're pretty cool porches they got a nice podium um, style or Corinthian style podiums like holding up the, the awning of the porch the ones on my right are pushed back and they got that stone work somebody literally just told me to turn with a stone like two or three videos ago and I completely forgot it I told myself I was gonna remember it and I forgot it we're on Seymour and Pulaski Ave I'm gonna make this left on the 5,000 block of Pulaski Ave we got the 4,900 block to my right Now, to my knowledge, Germantown has great historical value. I'll make sure to add a link in the description of this video in case you guys want to learn more about the Germantown section. Check out this church on my left-hand side. Huge church. And it's also um, covered with the same stones that you see on these houses. All right, we're on Pulaski Ave and Mannheim Street. I'm going to make this right on the 200 block of Mannheim. We're now turning right on Mannheim. We have a female, a gentleman, and it looks like their child out here on my right-hand side enjoying the sun. Oh no, it's actually two females. I thought it was a gentleman from the backside because it was a hoodie, but it was a female wearing a hoodie. I'm sorry. Passing Newhall Street, 5,100 to my left, 5,000 to my right. I could have made it right there, but we got these abandoned houses on my right-hand side. We got Tacoma Mini Market LLC on my right-hand side, passing Tacoma Street. We're now on Wayne Ave, Mannheim Street and Wayne Ave. We have a refrigerator used appliance spot on my left. We have Ace Cash Express on my right-hand side. We have Three Brothers Supermarket across the street on my left-hand side. A vehicle behind me is playing some, what it sounds to be like, Blues or jazz? Hold on, let me listen. He said, all right. And I hear a lot of trumpets and like saxophones. Okay. Okay. All right, I hear you, old head. All right, we're um, we passing the 53 Septa bus. That was on my right hand side. Traveling to Wayne Ave. Passing. Henley Street, the 5100 block of Henley. Now we're passing the 5000 block of Keyser. Or Keyser. I'm just going to keep on driving up this avenue or this block, I should say. Wow, the vehicle on my right hand side had a bunch of paint. Oh, and the front windshield was busted in. Yo, somebody got somebody mad because they busted in the front windshield. Hold on, we're passing Knox, Mannheim, and Knox Street. Somebody busted in the front windshield. And they took, a, I guess, a gallon of orange paint. And I would have went slower, but I got three cars behind me. They took a gallon of orange paint, and they spilled paint all over the vehicle. Passing the 5100 block of Marion Street. Whoop, we got this bus here. Go ahead, bus. I'm going to reverse for you so you can make this, this turn. You better give me a beep. Damn, she couldn't give me a beep, beep. Like, good looking. Like, I did this whole reverse for you, and you couldn't wave, beep, say thank you, sir, anything. Passing green in Mannheim. All right, green is the last block before we hit, uh, I believe, Germantown coming up. All right, these homes look traditional. Passing Wade Street. Ah, I'll make this right on Wade. I'll show y'all what Wade looked like. Oh, that block shoots back down. Go figure. It's cool. We needed to see this block. This block is more subtle. It's more representative of, you know, normal Philadelphia row homes. But then again, make note, the top crowns are very detailed. There's a lot of architectural de detail that goes into the crown. The crown is what covers the top of the house. Think of like a fitted hat, like a cap. That's the cap of the house. You see the detail up top? The camera doesn't do justice, but there's like floral design on the crowns of the home. Even the brick below the crown is, you know, a little bit more detailed. You know, the way it's placed, it, it was thoughtfully placed. Look at these homes in front of us. They're in pairs of two. They got walkways on the side. They got two sets of steps to get up to the front of the house. Three-story homes. And they look like they have an attic up top. Up very, very, very top after the third floor. It looks like there is an attic. 
I'm making this right hand turn. I'm trying to, you know, get in here cautiously because everybody appeared to be out today. I guess the warm weather makes people. Thank you, sir. The warm weather um, appears to make people, you know, be in a rush. We got this little Toyota. This is an MR2 Spider. Yo, banged out. Yo, that Spider was banged out. Somebody got their first sports car and didn't know how to drive it. <laughs> to make this right on Mannheim. Well, then again, I mean, it's not like a high-end sports car. It's a Toyota. But then again, an MR2 is it's, it's pretty cool. I'm not a big Toyota fan. I like the old school Toyotas, the 80s and all that. Yo, check out that. Y'all saw that roof that was on that building on the corner that's available? Yeah, I like the old school Toyotas, the 80s, you know, bodies and some 70s. But I can appreciate an MR2. They, they had older MR2s also. We're passing the 5,000 block of Portico Street. Portico. Kind of remind me of like Puerto Rico, but Portugal. <laughs> All right, we got the Jamila Butterfly Boutique on my left hand side. Looks like a privately owned business, private family owned business. This next block is Germantown Avenue. We got the 5100 block of Germantown to my left, the 5000 block of Germantown to my right hand side. We're on a hill right now. I'm in a stick shift vehicle. So if I let go of the brake and leave it in neutral, we'll just roll backwards. But I'm balancing the gas pedal, applying the correct application of gas and clutch so I can just, you know, continue driving up the hill. All right, Germantown Avenue has cobblestone on the road and a set of trolley tracks. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn right here. We got the 23 bus stop next to us. I'm gonna wean myself in here cautiously, very cautiously. All right, we got the Victorian Community Baptist Church on my right, mattress and bedding to my right, some boarded up buildings to my left, ice in, cold um, beer. We got Zapata Deli on my right. Okay, that was Collins. Now, make note that the Germantown neighborhood is right next to the Worcester neighborhood. We're passing Ashmed and Germantown. We have Family Dollar to my left. Kudo Hair Spot on my right. Servants of Christ on my right. Yeah, so this neighborhood, Germantown, is directly next to Worcester. Worcester is on my right. Germantown is on my left. Passing Bringhurst. There's some shutters on the buildings on my left. There's a lot of like detailed German, I'm assuming influenced architecture because this neighborhood is where the Germans migrated to back when they came here to Philadelphia. They, they migrated, we passed Queen Lane. They migrated throughout all of Philly, but I'm assuming this is one of the most influential neighborhoods where they migrated to. So every block on my left-hand side seemed to have came out. It came to Germantown, so we couldn't go down it. We're gonna go down. Cotier Street. The next block that goes down is Cotier. So we're gonna make this left and go down Cotier. On my Worcester tour, we came from this street on my um, right hand side down Co down Cotier. We came down here. Well, actually, we came from the next block and then we went down Cotier. But or Coulter. I'm sorry, I said Cotier. I apologize. We got Germantown Friends School on my left hand side. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. Go ahead, buddy. You can make the left hand. Or you can make your right hand turn. He's casually turning. And the car behind him is going to rush me out of the way. We got Philly Trans school bus on my right hand side. I had a horrific experience with that uh, bus company before. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but yeah. Germantown Friends School on my left hand side. Some nice homes on my left. I'm sorry, I got a vehicle behind me. I'm just going to let them go by because she's in a rush. She's singing and she's in a rush. And just to get to a red light. That's how much of a rush she was in. Just to get straight to the red light. All right, we're on. We got Green Street right in front of us. I'm going to... Uh, we got 5,300 green to my left, 5,400 green to my right. I'm going to make this left-hand turn on the 5,300 green and try to zigzag going back down to Wissahickon. We just turned off of Coulter. Oh, watch it, little homeboy. You run into the street. Whoever is responsible for that child care right there could have had a, a, a disaster could have just happened on the clock. That's not what you would have wanted to, but I was driving slow and I caught him, so I wasn't gonna you know, let him run into the street. But um, yeah, these homes right here are massive compared to other areas of the city. Some of them aren't in the best shape, 
but they are in excellent um, architectural condition. Passing Penn Street, I could have went down Penn. I should have went down Penn. But I'm gonna try to just continue traveling west to east, a couple blocks. We got Reinhardt Carpet Outlet next to um, Queen Lane and Green Street. We got Sunoco Gas Station on my right hand side. We got some people filling up bicycles on my right, putting air in the tires because it's that type of day. Yo, look at this little ice cream van. This do not match any of our ice cream trucks down north. This is a van, an ice cream van. Yo, that job was weak. <laughs> Get your ice cream game up. Yeah, that thing, I'm surprised there ain't a Mr. Soft in this neighborhood killing it. All right, we got the United States Postal um, Office on my left-hand side. I'm gonna make this right on Hansberry Street, the 100 block of Hansberry Street. This is a two-way street. We got two-story row homes to my right, two-story row homes to my left. The ones on my left got porches, the ones on my right didn't. And then the next ones do. We got a whole bunch of homies out here. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn on the 5200 block of Marion Street. We got this little private, what looks to be like a car wash. It looks like a mobile car wash going on. Try to drive slowly so that y'all could get it you know, an opportunity to see the atmosphere. We got a boarded up house to my left hand side. We got a nice little warehouse on my right hand side. That's nice, that's a nice warehouse. I like that warehouse probably more than I like the houses around here. <laughs> it's like, now the houses around here are, are nice. Like I ain't even gonna fraud, I ain't gonna front. They are nice houses. Like those right there on my right hand side, not the ones on my front, I've seen them plenty of times, you know? The ones on my right, Look at the top, look at the roof, look at the, the the trim, like that woodwork. That woodwork is timeless and if they painted it. But what I would have did is I would have sanded it down to the original wood and then I would have stained it with like some wood, some wood stain. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little hiccup. But with some wood stain, stain all that wooden accent, but it takes some detail to do that, it takes some time. And not many people are willing to put in time. But I would love you know, to restore, you know, a house. Then they put stucco on it. I would love to have it. If I can't get that that stone, I'm. I would believe that that stonework that's all over most of those houses would be on it. If it doesn't have the stonework, we're on Green Street and Queen Lane. I'm gonna make this left on Green Street. If it doesn't have that stonework, then I would like make it like brick pointed. But I don't think this neighborhood has those large homes with brick pointing. And if it does, you probably gotta like do that yourself. So if it has those stones on there, I would try to revive them. But then again, you know, they probably covered them for a reason. There was probably like water seeping through. We're gonna make this left hand turn on Penn Street, the 100 block of Penn Street. See this block right here is, is a nice variety block. They got shutters, oh snap. Oh, they got working shutters, son. This house right here on my left hand side, working shutters. Boom, yeah, let me see the ones on my right. On my right, working shutters, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah, boy. Yeah, working shutters on my left, okay. Working shutters on my right? Yo, this block just, just got lit. Yo, yeah. Yeah, working shutters again and again, okay. They're not just for, for show around her. And the sidewalks got the red brick, as you can see on my left. The ones on my right got some cement. Oh, there's a little cat out there sunbathing. What's up, cat? Meow, 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 meow. My bad, I had to tell them to subscribe and cat talk. This house on my left, working shutters. A whole set, every single sh set of shutters is functional. That's neat, quite neat. I might say so myself. <laughs> yeah, that's dope, that's hot. All right, so we're about to, let's see. Should we go left, should we go right? We can do both, we can go right if we wanna go down Penn Street, but the next block goes left. We don't wanna go back up left. But there's some interesting houses over there on my left. I would love to show you. Matter of fact, I'm about to flex the game. I'm about to turn to my left real quick. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Cheat code. I'm gonna turn to my left so y'all can get a little look at what the house looks like right there. It all got, yo, all them shutters are functional. That's what's up. And then cheat code. That's why the universe gave us reverse. Now I'm gonna reverse, reverse, crisscross, and I'm gonna make this right, boom. Yo, look at that little van right there on my left, that Volkswagen, that's nice. Old school Volkswagen. Let's make this left down the 200 block of Penn. We were just on Knox Street. Now we're on Penn once again. Penn broke off. I'm gonna allow this vehicle behind me to go because if I don't allow them to go, then they're gonna rush me and I'm trying to do my best to 
give you guys a well-balanced meal. I mean, a well-balanced tour. So y'all can see some of these homes, man. People be drawling on these tours. Dr drawling on these tours. Fick it, drawling on these tours. Dr drawling on these tours. Burn it. Drawling on these tours. Dr drawling on these tours. Drawling on these tours. Dr drawling. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Drawling on these tours. What? Drawling on these tours. <laughs> Yo, I be drawling on my own tours. Drawling is a term that people use in Philadelphia that is equivalent of people be like drawling. What's it mean when you drawling? Stop drawling. Like, like you in the way. Like, like you're like impeding on my tour ability. <laughs> like you're like, you know, interfering. There you go. Drawling can be equivalent to interfering. <sighs> Uh, we just left the 199 block of Penn. We're on the 200 block of Penn, right? How you go from the 199 block to 200? You can see these houses. They're pushed back. Lawns. Now, these on my left aren't pushed back as far, and they're more small. They're, they're smaller. You can't say they're more small. More smaller, because that doesn't sound like proper English. But Anyway, I don't speak English. I speak mini, mini, me, me, me. We're passing the 5300 block of New Hall. We got Faith Assembly Church on my right-hand side. We're now approaching Pulaski Avenue. We are at a stop sign on Penn Street and Pulaski Avenue. I'm going to allow this vehicular device to go. He wanted to let me go, but you know, I just, you know, I don't, I, I'd rather allow the driver to go and not rush me than be behind me and rush me, you feel me? Damn, everybody beeping. I might as well beep. I'm just going to beep because everybody beeping. I guess to be a part of Germantown, you got to beep. Beep, beep. Wow, this street is mangled. This street is like potholes. But y'all can see these houses on my left. They don't match the facade of everything else. That tells me this is... Yeah, they, first of all, they're apartments. They might be like low-income apartments, affordable housing. All right, we're passing Priscilla Street. We got the 5300 block of Priscilla to my left. The 5400 or the 5399 to my right. I noticed they, they do that around here. Like, they'll give you like a 99 and then the next one will be like strange. And we're on the 300 block. We're now going to cross over to the 400 block of Penn. We got Morris. We're passing Morris. We got a child care center on my left-hand side. Ouch, ouch, bumpy. Yo, you see that Discovery? Um... Land Rover thingy majiggy on my left. That's what you need in this neighborhood. That thing was lifted. That's why he had it lifted. Two-story homes to my left. Two-story homes to my right. The ones to my right got bigger lawns than the ones to my left. And then we got these two stories on my left that they're just stuck with, with no lawns and no porch. We got a church to my left-hand side. The Church of the Lord of Jesus Christ and the Apostolic, Apostolic Faith. Now we're merging onto King, King Street. We got Eagle's Nest Development Center on my right. We also have a cheese bus behind me, one of the little miniature cheese buses, the little cute little teeny weeny cheese buses. Not the full size, but the baby cheese bus. So they're behind me. I got to kind of stay at a steady pace. I'm sorry, y'all. We're only traveling a whopping nine miles per hour. And look, it says buses, 15 miles per hour. You see? So we're, we're, we're at the right pace here. We got apartments to my left, apartments to my right. Cars to my left, fan cars to my right. What? Cars to my left, fan cars to my left. Say it again, cars to my left. <laughs> Yo, I'm drawling. All right, um, I could, I'm going to make this left here so y'all can see these homes because this bus behind me was in the way, man. Come on, fam. Slow down. Oh, skateboard. Oh, he's on a ripstick. I see you, young boy. I, I see you. I uh, made him smile. That's what's up. You know, that's the goal to make a young homie smile. Make him feel good, you know? Lift up his self-esteem. Go ahead, buddy. You guys are more than welcome to go. Xfinity is the way to go. <laughs> Free commercial. All right, we're passing Lawrence Street. We're on Queens Lane and Lawrence Street. We got Queen Lane Mini Mart on my right-hand side. We got some two-story homes on my left. A variety of two-story homes. Some with attics, some without, some with shutters. Ah, you ain't got working shutters, but it's cool. We had a whole group on my right. I didn't even peep. They was off in the tux in, like, in a baby swimming pool. She was out there in a bathing suit. She was trying to get the tan early. I don't even know if y'all saw that. Y'all might have to pause, rewind, and see if you know she was getting the tan right. But yo, passing a 5200 block of McKean. I got cars behind me, like faux cars. Oh, there was a little, like a log house right here on the left. That joint ain't even match like the rest of the, the facade. It was like straight log. The whole front, all the materials used were like, it looked like a cabin. Let's make this left hand turn right here. I believe we're on Morris. 
All right, we got some normal Philadelphia looking homes here. We got um, Risen Christ Fellowship on my left hand side. Look, these homes on my right, they look normal, like Philadelphia homes. The ones on my left, they got vinyl siding. On my right, oh, they had that stone work. Then we got Brick Point on my right. We're on Morris, Penn Street and Morris. We're just gonna, yo, we're randomly driving, y'all. Like the grid format is out the window, but it's cool. I, I just want to paint the, the, the picture for y'all. Some kids on my left about to run off the porch. They got basketball, that's what's up. We got a gentleman right here pushing a child in a little three-wheeler. All right, Coulter and Morris. Oh, we got a pit bull on my left-hand side with his owner. Yeah. Okay, can I make a complete stop? Do you mind that I want to make a complete stop here? Does it bother you? You beeping at me. Do you mind? Look, a matter of fact, I'm gonna get in this lane since you want to go by me. you in a rush for dog like slow down look at the speed bumps you gotta slow down anyway damn they drawling i'm telling you i done got beeped that like six times in this neighborhood mind you the speed limit says everywhere drive carefully speed limit children watch children nobody cares about the children our guests passing <laughs> well we're about to make a left on what's this winona hey winona rider i'm on your block yo what's up give me an autograph um, yeah, man, like you see me cruising like now I'm doing three miles an hour. That's extra over exaggerated But on some of them blocks I was doing like a good 15 piece like chill like dang can I make a complete stop? Then on one of my videos I forgot what it was. I think it was the mob video when I did the mob stories video in South Philly um, the crime family um, <laughs> Somebody in the comment section wrote three times stop sign means stop you're supposed to make a complete stop at a stop sign. Stop, and then, like they just kept writing stop, right? But they don't know, look, that's that's an example of what happens when you stop in Philly at a complete stop sign. When you try to be a good citizen, you know, and abide by the rules, they beep at you. Let's make this left-hand turn on Lawrence Street. Hey, Lauren Hill, I'm on your block, sis. Give me an autograph. <laughs> yo, we on, yo, where's Toombla? Oh, we're on Earlham Trail. Let's make this left-hand turn on, on Ear Earlham. About time, I feel like I'm back in like North Philly or like I'm in like Southwest or something. There you go, some some regular looking homes. <laughs> oh, they got shutters. Get out of here. They're now functional. But they they screwed on oh, no, are they? No, they screwed in. Some of them got shutters, not all of them, but a good percentage of them. So so far, a damn near a dozen on my left, a dozen on my right, with the exception of skipping like one or two. They got shutters. I guess it's more for stylization purposes, for like show. You know what I mean? The porches are made out of those stones, but they painted the stones. That sucks. It would have been nice to like pressure wash the stone and bring them back to life, but they painted it with like a, like an ash blue, right? It's like an ash blue, like a powder blue. It's like a weird color blue, but they got shutters for looks, you know. This one missing a shutter. This one ain't got no shutters. So it looks like this whole block came equipped with shutters because some of the ones that don't have shutters have a shadow of where the shutter went. Uh, this is, as you can see, a no outlet. I got to turn to this right. Look at this little dropped Lexus here. Slammed to the ground. Static, sitting static. And then it looks, is it primer? Is it semi-flat or is that plastic dip? That looked like it was plastic dip. We're on Archer Street, the 5400 block of Archer. Yo, Archie, is this is Archie's block? Yo, Archie, come out and give me an autograph, dog. My wife's your greatest fan. <laughs> All right, um, let's make this right right here. I'm going to let this car go by before he gets behind me and beeps. Yo, two just be trying to chill. They be like messing up my vibe. Like if I was stoned, they would be blowing my high. But now I don't get stoned no more. I get stoned off of life, off of air. I breathe in air and <gasps> I'm stoned. <laughs> no, but seriously, like don't come through this hood. They gonna blow your, um, you know what I mean? They gonna blow your little, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, you know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Somebody said, tune, we don't ya you know I mean. We know what you mean, but we don't ya you know I mean. All right, we're traveling down Coulter Street. It's about time we just reached Wissahickon, right? Look at these houses on my left. Damn, there's a car behind me, a Volvo, traveling at high speeds. He wants me to speed it up some. I'm doing 18 miles an hour. We got this older female. I would have allowed her. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that was a sir. I'm sorry. Look, they allowed them to cross, and I had to look like the jerk off not allowing them to cross. I would have let them cross, but the way the car was traveling behind me, like they was in a rush. 
All right, we're on Wissahickon, Wissahickon Ave. This is the borderline. We got, what's this? The Avenue at East Falls on my left-hand side appears to be like luxury apartments and or just apartments now leasing. You have a female right here jogging. You see her jogging? We have the old tennis court farm on my right-hand side. Run, Forrest, run! There's a park on my right-hand side with a bunch of children, families, everybody out there with their children playing on the jungle gym, on the swings. Oh, there's a little dog, like a little chihuahua out here. All right, we're gonna make this right-hand turn on Schoolhouse Lane. We're passing Cloverleaf Park, established in 1913. Schoolhouse Lane. We are currently on Schoolhouse Lane. Cloverly Park is managed by the Fairmount Park Commission. We have an older uh, citizen right here. I'm just gonna slowly ride by them so he doesn't get hurt. Why is he walking in the street and not on the sidewalk? That's quite strange. It would be much safer, sir, if you traveled on the sidewalk. We got Cloverly Park luxury apartments on my left-hand side. We got those huge homes on my right-hand side. We have a series of several people walking. I'm gonna travel extremely slow extremely slow ma'am where's the rest of your clothes at she came up with like a like a sports bra she was trying to get a tan <laughs> yo 70 degree weather hits and everybody outside trying to get a tan yo look at these houses not so bad mate look at these houses on my left these houses on my left are neat houses on my right are kind of neat too they're about the same but they oh they vary ever so slightly. All right, we're on Schoolhouse Lane and Morris Street. I'm gonna make this complete stop. Let's see if I get beeped at. I'm traveling 15 miles. Now I'm going to 18 miles. Now I'm doing 20 miles per hour, guys. The car's behind me, it's a Toyota RAV4. Look at this building on my left. It looks like an apartment. You see, I got three porches. Look at the ones on my right. Sisters returning home. I'm gonna make this right on Pulaski Ave. West Falls Green Society Hill. Got some kids on my left with their parent. Got some gentlemen on my right. There's a nice big old church. I'm gonna make this left on Winona Street. Remember Winona? You remember, remember? I'm gonna make this left on Winona. I'm making this complete stop. They ain't gonna be mad at me because I'm making complete stops. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Even though I don't like infinities, I appreciate you to infinity and beyond. <laughs> we got an infinity owner watching this that doesn't like that I don't like infinities and they're just gonna thumbs down because I'm using my freedom of speech. <laughs> nah, that's cool, man. I guess, you know, you got an infinity, it's cool. Pass the Tacoma Street. I like Toyota Tacomas though. They're like, damn, cool. You like Infinity, but you like a Toyota Tacoma? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I never really had a a, a a fetish. I know people who swear by Infinities. I had a buddy in high school. He had like four or five Infinities. He was only 18 years old, and he was buying them like like they were Pokemon cards. He was collecting them. <laughs> he was trying to collect them all. Yo, I swear, like he loved Infinities. We're passing the Germantown house on my right hand side. It's like apartments. Uh, oh, come on, you see nobody, well, slow down, you got brakes, thank you, man, I got cars behind me, nobody wants to slow, slow, travel slow, that's all you gotta do, go slow, that's what your vehicle was equipped with a brake for, if you weren't doing 40 miles an hour, you'd be able to react a lot sooner, we're gonna make this left hand turn on schoolhouse lane, it's probably gonna bother the person behind me, left we're on wayne ave we could have went up one more block to germantown but i'm just dipping and dodging through the little back blocks we're back on um schoolhouse lane just want to show y'all some of this architecture around her yeah the sun is kind of probably blocking your vision on the houses on the right hand side i'm sorry about that mother nature is blessing us with her glory but in the way of what we're doing here with the tour. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mother Nature. Thank you for allowing me to see another day of sun. Amen. Because any day 
that you up and you breathing and you living and you walking and you talking is a good day. It's a great day. It's a fabulous day. It's an enchanted day. It's a spectacular, a marvelous, uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious day. Yeah, it's a good day, man. I'm happy. I can't complain. We got Flying Horse Center on my left-hand side. I'm gonna make this left on Wood Lawn Street. Oh, can I? Nah, I don't wanna do that because that's a no outlet. I could have made it left, but it would have just took me to like a dead end. All right, we're right here next to Shelton Ave. We're on Pulaski Ave and Shelton Ave. I'm gonna make this left hand turn right here. Actually shot a music video around her. This is a little business strip. We got Lab Corp on my right, pizzeria on my left, ice cream parlor on my left, the proper image barbershop on my left, Delmar Morris luxury apartments on my right, now leasing, Morris Street and Shelton. <clears throat> I'm gonna make this left on Morris. I know y'all probably wanna see more behind me, right? I know the Germantown heads wanna see more behind me. Like, but Tune, but you didn't go by this block. Yo, we only got an hour, y'all. We only got an hour and we're we're running short. We got about 20 minutes left on the clock. We got friends cleaners to my left. I'm gonna try to shoot it down for y'all a couple blocks. And then I gotta come through Shelton because I know y'all wanna see Shelton. I know y'all wanna see it because I've been through Shelton before and there's all those stores out there. It's honey, oops, it's hair, honey, on my right hand side passing Woodlawn. Glass Coast Security Corp on my left hand side. Yeah, my homie, um, Geo is from this neighborhood, um, and Cam, Cam the First, is an R&B singer, is from this area. Gio Giovinci, that's his name, Gio Giovinci. What a last name, right? Or what a second name. I don't even know if that's his last name, but I know that's his second name. <laughs> Gio Giovinci. I believe that's his stage name. Right, we're on Morris passing Schoolhouse Lane. I'm gonna make this right on Schoolhouse Lane. You know why? Because I think I'm gonna just take y'all around Shelton. We got some joggers on my right. On my left, we got some people walking with their children or a female walking with her children. And I said joggers as if it was plural. It was jogger as in singular. It was one jogger. We have a car behind me rushing. This is how they want me to drive. You want me to show you how they want me to drive? This is how they want me to drive. This is how everybody else drives around here. But I don't like driving like that. Does it bother you know the people behind me that bad that I don't like driving like that? I've been behind the wheel since illegally since I was nine. First ticket at 13 years old. Um, legally since I was 15 and a half. I'm 32 now, about to be 33. So I've been driving for you can say roughly 17 years legally, and I choose not to drive like that. You know, and that's with 17 years worth of experience in my very young life. We're back at Winston Hicken Ave. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. It doesn't say no right on red, so let me make this right on red before the people behind me have a heart attack, a stroke or something. Strokes are nothing to be joking around about, but yeah, it's like they be like, you look, you you can see them through the rear view mirror. Like they look at you like you're an idiot because you're just, you know, driving the way they don't want you to drive. Georgia tags, I called it. Passing Alden Park Apartments. Marchwood Apartments on my right hand side. We got Park Height Apartments on my right hand side. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Shelton Ave. We're at Wissahickon Ave and Shelton Ave. We'll take this down and then we'll, so y'all can see the businesses, cause I know y'all wanna see the businesses. Park Height Apartments on my right. Hathaway House Apartments on my left cars behind me please forgive me passing lawrence street i'm only traveling 24 miles an hour passing the president apartments on my left whoa mr president i think i passed your apartments dude <laughs> philadelphia hair ministry <laughs> is that ministry yo i didn't even read that correctly we're passing morris yo i'm sorry y'all all right i gotta tone this down i'm doing 20 miles an hour the pizza dude i gotta let the pizza do that taco grill and pizza bus is trapped you know Got the 26 bus on my left-hand side. 
We got LabCorp, H&R Block, AT&T. We got um, Al Sham, Middle Eastern Food, I'm all right. We got Something C, Young Blood, 198th Legislative District. They are a representative of the community, the House of Representatives. Delmar Lounge, I'm all right. Adam Convenience Store, I'm all right. Shelton Cleaners, I'm all right. We're passing Pulaski Ave. We just passed a whole plaza on my left with a bunch of things like save a lot of stuff. House of Gin, I'm all right. Japanese food, Davida. Uh, kidney care on my left, the Burgess Center on my right, Oak Street Health Center, Temptations Restaurant on my right, Enterprise Rentals on my left, Philadelphia Gas Works on my right, O's Famous Pizza on my right, Wayne Ave in front of us, we're at the intersection of Shelton Ham, oops, I'm sorry, I threw the ham in it, they're like, yo, tune, no pork, bro, no pork, it's only Shelton, all right, my bad. We're on, we are currently at the intersection of Shelton Ave and Wayne Avenue. We got Cricket on my right-hand side, Burger King on my left-hand side, Shelton Market to my right-hand side. They do Western Union. We got bus stops to my left and my right. We got this little 17 with life card on my right. Passing KFC on my left-hand side. We got Right Aid Pharmacy or Right Aid Pharmacy on my right. Big Laundry on my right. Midas on my left. Kim's Clothing on my right. We're now approaching Shelton and Knox Street. Y'all just gonna have to look and use your eyeballs and look left and look right. <laughs> I'm traveling 19 miles an hour. Let me slow it down because there's nobody behind us. Check it out. We got several dozen businesses here. Some of them are open, some of them are closed. Learning Academy on my right. Popeye's Louisiana Chicken on my right. Mommy Jewelers on my left. Triple One Nail Salon on my left. Healing Healthcare on my left. Reach. Learning Center on my left. We're passing Philadelphia Vision Center on my left. We're at Green Street and Shelton. We got the Free Library Northwest on my right hand side, the Joseph E. Coleman Northwest Regional Branch. Shelton Deli and Convenience on my left. Deluxe Nails on my right. Seven dozen businesses, y'all. Too many for me to comprehend in one session. <laughs> um, the First Presbyterian Church in Germantown on my left hand side. I'm only doing eight miles an hour. All right, we're now approaching Germantown Avenue. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn right here. We got Rest in Peace T-shirt gallery and varieties on my right. Wow, they threw Rest in Peace in the title. Holy smokes. I mean, you could just say that you do, you know, T-shirts and printing. Oh, we got police right here. They just pulled pull somebody over. Let's make this left. Oh, it says no left. Dang it. Yo, they just pulled somebody over. I'm trying to be new. All right, let me make this right real quick. It says no turn on, on red. Yo, the police just pulled somebody over. I want to see. I want to see. Can I see? I mean, I can see, but I want y'all to see. Can we see? Yo, there's two police officers that just pulled somebody over. Oh, they just walked to him. They asked him a question, and now they're walking away. So he might have just got lucky. I'm going to try to make this right-hand turn without people snapping Make this right hand turn. Cool, we just made this right hand turn. We're currently on Germantown Avenue. G Town Sports on my right. Mr. Hookah Fish and Chicken on my left. Oh, you dropped your earring. Sorry, sweetie, you just dropped the earring. It fell off on camera and now you're stuck on the World Wide Web forever. We caught you. <laughs> the Weave Bar on my left. We're passing Woodlawn. Now we're passing Armat Street. Traveling um, down Germantown. Covered Beauty on my right. Grilling Dutch on my right. G Town Dollar on my right. Schoolhouse Lane on my left. It travels to my left. It's coming from my right. Citizens Bank on my right. I am go. Oops, we just went straight through that yellow. It's cool. We were traveling slowly, and slow means what? Yellow. Germantown Day School on my right. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We got the Germantown Historical Society on my left hand side. I'm gonna make this left on One East Church Lane, and then we're just gonna come back around and try to travel down the opposite end. Remember the end where the police were at? They're probably not gonna be there anymore. Yo, these are all functional shutters. You got that? Damn right, Skippy, Pippy. Go ahead, buddy. I'm going to let you go because we're staring at the Germantown Historical Society. Check that out. Uh, Market Square. Yeah, that was, that was a, uh, it says, lest we forget Museum of Slavery. Wow. Spectacular. If you want to go check out that museum, it's right there. 5500 block of Germantown. We got Nolan Building Materials, 64 East Church Lane on my right. 
I'm gonna make this left hand turn right here. We got the Hamill Mill Apartments. Okay, you can go, buddy. On my right hand side, we're gonna make this left on the 5500 block of Lena Street. Cause we're trying to get back onto Germantown. You can see the houses though, the houses. They're otherworldly. Say like, no, they ain't otherworldly. <laughs> but as y'all can see from watching my last, you know, couple, you know, about hundred or so tours that I just did within the last three months, you guys see that Philadelphia, and y'all ain't even see all the neighborhoods yet. Keyword yet. I did cover south, southwest, west, northwest, north, northeast, North Philly, and I believe I said North Philly and Center City, Philadelphia, but. There's not enough time in the day. There's not enough footage on an SD card. There's not enough space on YouTube. <laughs> Say, now there's probably enough space on YouTube. But there's not enough time in the day to cover them all, especially not in one tour. So what y'all see is, you know, Philadelphia has so many different looking neighborhoods. Look at that. So many different styles. And people get capped up. Like, they'll watch one, Philly, one Philadelphia video. <coughs> Kensington, coughing. Kensington, <coughs> passing Kenyon Street. <laughs> But yeah, they'll see like one neighborhood in Philly and they'll think all of Philly looks just like that one video that they saw in it, and then they'll prejudge. They'll make a prejudice assumption passing the Covenant House, Pennsylvania, opening doors for homeless youth on my right hand side. Boy, that was a mouthful for somebody with a speech impediment like myself. We got Maryland tags in front of us. Woohoo! I got another tag. That's my point, not yours. You snooze, you lose. We got B&B &B, breakfast and lunch on my right hand side. Yeah, y'all. So. Somebody who never been to Philly will watch one Philadelphia video and think that all of Philadelphia looks the same, and it doesn't. Philadelphia has many different neighborhoods, many different styles, many different facades, many different architectures, um, architectural designs, many different stylizations, many different atmospheres, you know? They're all Philadelphians, but some people don't leave their neighborhood, but believe it or not, we're on Armac. We're gonna make this right on Germantown Avenue. Yeah, many people, <clears throat> for example, there might be a young fellow who is from Northwest in this neighborhood and he was born and raised and he didn't really venture out or pass out to multiple neighborhoods growing up. So in his eyes or his mindset, this is Philly, you know? And that might be the sad truth. He probably never been to South or Southwest or to certain parts of North or to the East area like Fishtown and through, you know, Port Richmond and all that and vice versa. There might be a young fellow, a young lad that was born and raised in Port Richmond or in, you know, the Dickinson Narrows in South Philly in the Asian neighborhood or or in Wharton in South Philly or in Southwest, you know, down Elmwood, you know, and all of that. But they never really traveled to, you know, Northeast. They never seen, you know, the Mayfair neighborhood or they never seen the Bridesburg neighborhood or or and so on. You know what I mean? So it's 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 powerful when you think about it like that, you know what I mean? Passing the 23 bus stop. Now we're passing Shelton Ave. The police pulled the dude over on my left-hand side. He's gone, so he got lucky. He got lucky. Bless the young brother. Passing Crab House Bar and Grill. We got a few, you know, dozen gentlemen on my left, out and about. T-Mobile Boost on my right. I'm sorry, I got vehicles behind me, and I'm slowing down. <laughs> they mad at me. Young Beauty Town on my right. Vernon Park on my left. Derby Square on my right. AutoZone Apartments passing Price Street. Let's just travel down Germantown so I can show y'all a little bit of Germantown. Passing Rittenhouse Street. We got a few dozen businesses on my right, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make this left down Rittenhouse Street just cause Germantown traffic is more fast paced and I don't wanna hold them back and then just fly through blocks and y'all don't get to see them. So y'all saw a little something, something on Germantown. We didn't do the whole Germantown, Germantown Avenue is bigger and Germantown Avenue runs from here Northwest Philly down to North Philly and it travels all the way down That's why I want, we got the Mount Zion Baptist Church of Germantown on my right hand side That's why one time I did a little 4k 15 minute walking view of the North Philly Germantown and they're like Tomb, but why are you showing the dirty part of Germantown? Why don't you show the nice historical part of Germantown? I'm like, well, cuz I'm from like the <laughs> I hate to say I'm from like around the dirty part of Germantown <laughs> We're passing McCollum Street. Yo, is Macaulay Calkin from this neighborhood? No, I'm kidding. We got Mount Tabor Baptist Church on my left-hand side. And we got a bumper cart doom buggy behind us. No, United House of Prayer for all people. No, but they out. Like, they trying to play bumper cars. They, they about to kiss my bumper. But, um, yeah, so I was doing eight, 18 miles an hour. That does not satisfy the young pip behind us. 
We're on Written House and Green Street. We got Dance Studio, Martial Arts on my right. Visit www.northstarmma.com. Free trial classes available. I made this left-hand turn on Green Street just to get this vehicle from behind me. Nick's Famous Pizza on my right, Music Studio on my right, China House on my right, Gas Station on my left, MP Print Designs on my right, Cosmetic and Family Dentistry on my right. Beautiful building on my right. Pod podiatrist. Podiatrist, not pediatrist. Podiatrist. Ah, podiatrist. Yeah, that's such a strange word. It doesn't roll off the tongue comfortably for me. Maybe for you, but not for me. <laughs> Philadelphia Vision Center on my right. We're at Green Street and Shuttenham Ave. On my left hand side, you got the Free Library of Philadelphia, Joseph E. Coleman Northwest Regional. Remember we just said that? You man, remember? Four lease on my right hand side. Visit www.phillyofficeretail.com and tell them Tune sent you, yo. Tell them Tune want to cut it a commission, dog. Please, yo, that cop ate the red light. I'm about to give him citizen's arrest. Say, like, no, yeah, right. Cops gonna look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> You're gonna go, sir. Would you like me to write you a ticket? No outlet on my left hand side, but we got the Caribbean and American diner, oxtail curry, curry chicken, goat jerk chicken and all that stuff with chicken and goats and stuff danielle's weave salon on my right we got sarah temple church kojic on my right hand side kojic pastor robert fulton senior founder annie's hair braiding on my right a dentist robert wood on my left hand side child care to daycare center on my left pods on my left pennsylvania school for deaf on my right hand side on green street and schoolhouse lane I'm traveling a spectacular, neck-breaking 20 miles per hour. Hey, yo, imagine, <laughs> let's do the tour hood. You ready? Let's do the tour. Let's do the hood tour hood. Hey, yo, dog. So right now we um, we finna pass uh, Coulter Street. You know what I mean? Coulter, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So on my right, we got some like ball, some like ball just walking in. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just some ball just... just drawling on um, my left we got this Benz. Ew, that Benz tough son that Benz iller than a mother yo it, man man we about to bang this left on Penn Street you dig man we banging this left left you heard skirt skirt left sees you know what I mean look at that blue John right there that blue John cray cray yeah look at these cribs these cribs is tough these John's is fire Yo, I, yo, I'm about to drop a bag on one of these Jones, dog. These Jones is ill. Illy Manilly, Vavilly, Illy Villy, Pilly, put in a pie, he kissed the girls. And, nah. <laughs> Remember that poem? Georgie Porgy putting in pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. When all the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. And then he went to the crib, he got the AK, he came back to the block, and he let that Jones spray. He said, da, 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 No, I mean, the... The, the, the poem didn't necessarily finish off like that, but Tune had to add his little, you know what I mean? His little touch. His little flavor. Flavor, flavor. Pizza maker. Maker pizza. Artisan pizza. Pizza pizza. Oh, the sun is shining on this young brother right here. Make this right hand turn on Germantown Avenue. Oh, so that vehicle, can we make a right hand turn? Dang, we're not allowed to make right-hand turns. Like, shh. yo, they will never let you go. They won't. They won't. Like, they will not let you go. You need patience of Christ to be driving in this neighborhood. <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, you need to be like, ooh, if you got a short fuse, a short temper, this is probably not the neighborhood for you to be driving at. Because you're going to be snapping. You're going to be snapping on everyone. And if you got a hoopty that don't go past 10 miles an hour, <laughs> this is probably not a good neighborhood for you either because they're not going to let you travel 10 the whole way. Walt's Barbershop and low-cost bike shop. Oh, man, RIP to my homie Walt. Walt's Barbershop, buddy. Walt's Barbershop and bike shop. That's what's up because my homie Walt used to love working on bikes with me. Rest in peace, bro, bro. 
with that being said ladies and gentlemen we have reached our one hour mark i'm sorry to my dismay i have to let you guys go i have to say farewell you know i have to say my farewells and goodbyes but don't worry i'll see you again you know because if you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on the next time i drop a video you're gonna get a little -da -da -da, chirp chirp remember the chirps chirp back you know what I mean? You're going to get a little chirp chirp. So no, you ain't going to get a chirp chirp, but you'll get a notification. Go to your YouTube app and set notifications and put all. And then go to Tune215 right under my name or right next to my name. You'll see a bell. Turn that bell icon on and set it to all notifications. So when I do drop a video, y'all could be in tune with me and we could bug out together. All right, y'all? Hope everybody has a blessed day. Wish you all great health, wealth, and happiness. Notice how I said health first because health is you know the most important thing without health what good is you know anything else that follows with that being said this is your boy toon mr toony mr toon dollars toon 215 y'all know the rest right i'm tuning out